What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Rule585, back with another video, man. It actually feels good when I'm more consistent with putting a video out because just just gives me some time to, you know, feel good or whatever or whatnot and stuff like that. But anyway, um, yeah, obviously be able to tell I'm, you know, title this video and all that, but this is about... We are here to talk about my Los Angeles Rams. LA Rams, man. The LA Rams. The LA Rams versus the Arizona Cardinals. Now, I'm going to start off by saying, yes, we beat the Arizona Cardinals. We just got to keep that momentum going. Uh, I got to see who we play next week. or this. I think we play Thursday, they said. Right? Yeah, five days. I'm looking on my computer. Third. Oh no, my bad. We play play them. My fault. Not Thursday. Sunday. So Sunday. My fault. I'm tripping. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So we play the we play the Seahawks on Sunday. Hopefully, you know, we, I ain't gonna say hopefully. We are gonna keep that momentum going. We gonna we gonna go terrorize them. But anyway, man, did y'all see the did y'all see last night's game? Let me know down below in the comments if you saw last night's game. Let me know down below in the comments if you if you thought my Rams were going to lose. Um, heck, let me know if you thought they was going to win. I don't know. Just leave a comment. Uh, but, yo, man, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. You know, first, I'm, I'm going to get my, my squad. You know, I'm going to do them first. Matthew Stafford, he did what I asked him. He did not throw an interception. He was patient. He threw three touchdowns, I think 200 and... What is it? Two hundred and the heck? I'm tripping for real. Two hundred eighty-seven yards. Yeah, he always throwing for like two hundred and like eighty or ninety something yards. Matthew, hit that three hundred mark, man. Um, but yo, he he had, he went with twenty-three for thirty, two hundred eighty-seven yards, three touchdowns. At the end of the day, that's really all that matters to me is he did not throw an interception. Sony Michelle, he didn't hit a hundred yards. But he had 20 carries for 79 yards. So his yardage, you know, his yards that he was getting still matter. Uh, Van Jefferson, he did have a one rush for 10 yards. Um, and yes, to whomever was wondering, yes, I watched the game. I watched the game as well. I'm just reading stats. But uh, as you know, your boy Coop still killing it. 13 receptions, 123 yards. Odell, six receptions for 77 yards. Yo, Odell is, is, is you know... He's, he's got three touchdowns in the, uh, in the last three games, one touchdown per game. Van Jefferson had the, you know had two receptions for 58 yards and a touchdown. Um, and I think one of their tight ends, yeah, two receptions for 29 yards. You know, so that's all it's showing that, you know, for receiving. But it didn't matter. Coop, Odell, and Van was killing it. Um, the defense, yo, that defense, Aaron Donald. I don't want to hear nobody say that. I don't. St I still don't see. Like for the last couple of years, people have been saying Aaron Donald is arguably the you know the the, the uh, best player in the league. Of course, because he doesn't have a Super Bowl. You know, if we you know I gonna say if when we make it to the playoff, I mean to the Super Bowl. You know, if 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 you know if the team just continues to play with that energy, that aggression, all that good stuff. I don't see how y'all y'all couldn't say Aaron Donald isn't. The most dominant big man on, you know, on the planet at what, 30, 30 years old, 30, 31. So, you know, and I'm not, you know, he had his three sacks, you know, as y'all saw, he had, he had a sack on the first play of the game. Was it the first? It was like the first play of the first series. And then he had that clutch sack on the last play of the game. I don't even care that the Cardinals were so confused. They didn't know what was going on. Aaron Donald, as you can see, did not care what was going on. My man was like, yo, we just, the ref didn't blow the whistle. Go after the quarterback. Hey, Aaron Donald did his thing. You seen him? He waved by, and the game was over. Um, who else? Uh, Greg Gaines was killing it. Uh, who's the DB? I know Ernest Jones. He had the interception down at the goal line. That was yeah. That was that was crazy. I thought he was gonna run that back. Um, I'm trying to think who they had on DeAndre Hopkins. Urgh. I can't remember. I think, was it Long? Oh, no, no. It was Darius Williams. Darius Williams, they 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 were saying during the game, you know, he's not. But he did his job, man, with Jalen Ramsey, unfortunately, being out, you know, with COVID, him and Higby. So the line did their job, man. 
Aishon Robinson, Von Miller, the whole squad did their thing. Like I said, Aaron, Greg, you know, like I said, Darius, especially Leonard Floyd too. Oh, Leonard, oh, Leonard had an interception. I thought he had a sack. Leonard, yeah, Leonard had the other interception. So, man, it was a whole team effort, man. That's all I'm gonna say. I was not mad at that. Matt Gay had, you know, three field goals as long as it was 55 yards. I can't be mad at that. Johnny Hecker, he had three punts. They were not the greatest. You know, it's, it's been a lot of people that's been saying that, you know, the Rams probably made a mistake with the other punter that they had. But, you know, we'll see what happens with Hecker. You know, hopefully he get it together. I'm, you know, I'm, I can't complain. So that's just how that goes, man. But all in all, man, the, the squad killed it. Like I said, uh, the Cardinals, shoot, you see Kyler Murray, he, he almost threw for 400 yards, but he had two interceptions. He didn't throw no touchdowns. But James Conner, he, he did do his thing, two touchdowns. You know, 13 carries for 31 yards, two touchdowns. Oh, and he had nine receptions for 91, 94 yards. So he, he was doing his whatever. You know, of total yardage and all that and stuff. AJ Green has seven for 102. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins, you know, that, that y'all seen that one play where yeah, I think it was double coverage on him. I ain't gonna lie. When Kyler Murray, I think we had pressure on him during that play. When Kyler Murray threw that ball, I really had flashbacks to when, what was that last year? DeAndre Hopkins caught the touchdown with the time uh, expiring against, what was that, the Cowboys? I'm like, goodness gracious, please don't let him catch this ball. And he didn't catch it. So I was not mad at it. I know y'all zooming in on on yeah. I got. I'm trying to get rid of these. Leave me alone. But um. But yeah, man, that was that was crazy though. But like I said, it was a total team effort. I don't even care. I ain't going through the rest of their uh their stats, whatever. But all in all, um, I'm gonna say Stafford. He he somewhat put himself back in the conversation and of of a uh, MVP. No, I'm not saying he is. I'm just saying he put himself back in the conversation. Uh, Sony Michelle, I feel like, is doing his job. You know, last week he had 120 yards. This week, you know, he only had 80 yards, but he made them count, though. Like, he kept the ball moving. Um, you know, like I said, everybody else on the squad, they just they did their thing, man. Like I said, you know, again, with Higby out and uh, and Jalen Ramsey, it was just, that was, a, that was, those were major blows. But the rest of the squad did their job. You can't tell me nothing. Even though I, I know the Rams are still a game and a half behind the, uh, excuse me, a game or a game and a half behind the Cardinals or whatever. So they, I think they, I know that dropped the, uh, the Cardinals to, what was it, third place? Let me see, NFC West. Um, well, no, they, they well, they're first in our division still, but let me see, NFC standing. But the standings in general, they're in third, and the Cowboys are actually ahead of us. Um, so we're in fifth. So, hey, man, we ain't in first, but we ain't in last. You know, I, I feel like my Rams, as long as they keep this momentum going, you know, like some of the players were saying, I think it was o Odell. He said, you know, on to the next one. I think Matthew Stafford said it too. So, you know, they enjoyed it last night, but back to it this morning, I'm pretty sure. You know, I'm pretty sure they're doing their two or three days. Um, Andrew Whitworth, you know. It's been a lot of people that's been at Andrew Whitworth. You know, I'm not expecting Andrew to be perfect, you know, but he was the first player to start at 40 years old and all that and stuff. You know, I'm hoping he may come back another season or two, but I got a feeling he's possibly, depending on how the season, the rest of the season goes, I, I think is, is what he's going to determine if, if he's going to come back or not. You know, if he still got that drive, maybe another year or so. He's He's been with us since 2017, so I ain't even mad at him. Um, But, yeah, man, so it's just crazy because I was watching, like, uh, clips of, uh, you know, Sports Center, ESPN, and it was, you know, I think it was Keyshawn Johnson who said, you know, he got the, he got the Cowboys over my Rams. I don't know about that one. It'd be a good game. It's a good matchup, but I don't know about that. I, I ain't gonna find. I do got my uh, my Rams, you know, my own personal standings behind the uh, the the Packers, the Bucks, the Cardinals, and then I say uh, then my Rams and the Cowboys. That's my personal um, uh, power rankings. I don't know. Maybe you know, put y'all power rankings down below in the uh, the comments. NFC, AFC, whatever. Just leave a comment. 
Um, again, you know, at the end of the day, my Rams won last night. That's all that mattered. Um, and yeah. So, as always, man, uh, leave y'all comments, whatever, down below in the description. I'm going to leave all my links down below in, in the description. You know, hit me up, you know, Twitter, all that good stuff. Like I said, I'm going to leave everything down below. Um, but, yeah. So, anyway, it's your boy, Rue585, and I'm going to holler at y'all later. And I'm out, y'all. Peace.